Hey guys, Kajwa here and welcome back to another review. Now today we are reviewing the variations of DJ. Um, obviously this was, uh, by the way, was suggested by Dynaco Runny 21 um, Obviously he just said DJ, but on these sort of videos I might as well do all of them. I know some of them might look a little bit the same, especially these two, but there are differences. Even though they may be minor, but there are differences. Um, so I thought I'd show all of these today. I don't have a custom where I had all the tar on it from the prologue. Well, no. Is it epilogue? Epilogue, I think, is where the it's like at the credits, so it's a little clip on the credits of a film. I think that's what it is, anyway. So we'll go through each of them. Um, I think we'll start with the oldest first and make our way um, through. So let's get on to the review of DJ. All right, then. So here is DJ. Now this is the very original one from 2006. So the one right here, I would have got in the. Um, desert art series and you can definitely tell I've had it for a long time that is for sure by the judging of these wheels which are no longer straight and you can see a couple of things I've done to it so we'll forget about them and we'll just go on to the review um, now before I start actually I want to talk about where DJ appears now he appears in Cars 1 um, where they um, him and the rest of the two, uh, tuners go up to Max trailer and they use that um, song um, I think it's like Kenny G, Songbird, or something like that. They use that to make Mac fall asleep, which causes him to go on sort of the hard shoulder, as we call it on the, uh, we call it in the UK, or the bit of the side of the motor, of a highway motor, whatever you want to call it. And um, see so sort of bumps, and then McQueen's little toy, obviously, jumps and steps on. Well, I suppose there are spoilers here, but this film has been out for 11 years. But And uh, the little car jumps on the... A uh, little button that opens the door, Queen falls out, and then yes, I'm not going to say anymore. Um, so that's where he appears. Um, he also appears at the beginning of Tokyo Mater, where they're drifting through Radiator Springs. Him, Boost, uh, and Wingo, not Snotrod. So, and they sound like they've got different voices, but maybe not. Who knows? Um, so he has he has a kind of they have quite a big part in the film if you think about it, because he's still they're the ones that make McQueen get to Radiator Springs in a way. So they have quite a big part of um, the film, but just a, a small part of them being in themselves, but quite they create quite a big thing. So I suppose it's thanks to them we got the McQueen we love and know, but not thanks to them that he got lost and could have been really injured, but luckily that didn't happen. Anyway, um, he's also, I forgot to mention as well, it's also been released, uh, obviously, in the Desert Art series, uh, he's Supercharged, uh, World of Cars, Racerama, not the final lap, uh, eye changer ones. He's been released lots of times in the double packs, with no three packs, multi packs, all them kind of different packs. You know, he's probably been released in at least one. Anyway, let's start with this actual review. So first off, we have this sort of splitter here, sort of tuna splitter. You couldn't say these cars are rices, but back in 2006, people probably thought these customizations were the best. Uh, we do have these two big lights here as well. Uh, by the looks, a little, little bonnet scoop by the looks of it. We have this sort of. I, I know Wingo had sunglasses. I don't know if DJ has. Are these are sunglasses as well. He has these purple eyes there as well. Uh, he has three. Um, yeah, he has three uh, mirrors. I think one, the middle one, and another one. So that's three. Uh, on the side here, we have the wheels. I did put uh, paint a little red dot in the middle to spice it up a bit. This was a long time ago. He has his blue bolts, which is incorrect. Little window there, the sound sort of bars, which I wish were filled in. Uh, his speakers and his wing there, which also doesn't have the uh, lightning bolt, sort of not lightning bolt, the bolt on it. Same wheels again. On the back, I've coloured in the little dial for the exhaust or painted them. And I think, uh, by the way, my, this is my dad who's done this, not me. I was too young at the time, but I think my dad might have uh, touched up the paint on the lights as well, but they chipped off again. We have as many speakers here, the speakers here, the bit that chooses what song it is or what CD or whatever. His spoiler, which is very bendy now, well not bendy, but bent because it's so old. Uh, we have the same on the other side here. As we go on to the base, we have Disney Pixar's, it's Thailand, yes, yeah, it's a Thailand car. If you watched my live stream yesterday, we had a little talk about them and how if you got it before, I think it might have been 2009, 2008, they were made in Ch uh, Thailand before China. So you can see these exhausts that go into there as well. So these exhausts are kind of fake little tips because they're all skinny until they're 
But yeah, we literally have Disney Pixar time, man. This is how old this is. They, they did have a thing there, but no other codes. So that does explain how old this DJ actually is. All right, then. So I'm going to sort of show you this DJ next. You may be thinking, what is different? But if you look here, the eyes are actually different. This one, as well as having the sunglasses, which is tilted, not straight, has his actual, uh, sort of, um, what's it called? Is he actually has his actual? Oh my god, I can't think of what the name is. Eyelid, that's it. <laughs> Whereas this one, it does not. It just have sunglasses. So this one, in my opinion, looks better. But this one does have uh, it there. Obviously, this is a better quality version. You can see what it properly looks like. This is less damaged, <laughs> less ruined. Um, so that is that one there. They, it's not a big change from the original uh, actual DJ. Okay, so now we're on to the next one that they would have released at the time, which would have been um, DJ with Clamp, or Parking Boot, I just like to call them Clamp. They would have, they came out about 2009 in the Racerama series. He has the now corrected lightning bolts there. He still he has his sunglasses still. I think that one is a bit of an error on mine, how it's not exactly level, because here it's level when you have his eyes or eyelid as well. Uh, we have, yeah, we have the green lightning bolts there now, not blue, because it's not meant to be blue. They didn't even have it on the hood of the original. It's clamped there, which is way too small for his rim, which is quite funny. But it's still it's still cool anyway. We have his big green lightning bolt. Uh, no, I keep saying lightning bolt. It's just really a bolt, isn't it? A zigzag kind of thing. It goes along and on the spoiler, uh, the back of him there. Now, it was a bit of a shame how they corrected it on the clamped one, the one that you can't really play with. They corrected it. But luckily, as you'll see later on in the video, we got we got another version which had the same th uh, features. Now this one, it says China, so yep, I think my theory is correct where if it was 2009 or later, it's made in China. 2008 before, it was made in Thailand. <laughs> I think anyway, it could be 2007, but likely 2008. Anyway, this is the next one that probably would have been released. is <laughs> the Eye Changer one. Not many people like these, and I am one of them. So I guess this is kind of one where they, it, you could use it as a car without but like a clamp, and um, but it had the corrected bolts on it. This one is in really good condition. I hardly, ever, I hardly ever played with it as a kid. Yeah, China once again. So that theory is definitely correct there. Um, right up next is the color changer. I did get this after the last one. I'm going to show you, but I know they released them this year. Um, they released them before as well. Just one sec, guys. Sorry, my I have my neighbour's dog barks all the time. I absolutely hate the dog. I do love dogs, but not that one. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this is the colour changer one. It goes to a light blue, as you can see if I do my finger, because my fingers are quite hot. It goes to like a light blue. This has a sort of yellowy, sort of greeny lightning bolt to it. But I guess they might not be able to get the pictures correct. The white is sort of blue as well, but that's fine. So it's obviously very light, it's plastic. They're not stickers though, obviously, because they would come off and color changes are very cool. But they were very rare before they were released again, but I guarantee, if you, if, well, I think they've stopped making them again already. So if you ever see one in a store left over, then grab it, because they're like, some of the original ones in the original packaging from like 2010 are worth like, at least some of them like a hundred pound for like a double pack of them. So get them while you can because they may be a bit expensive if you for a plastic car, but they sell for a lot for some reason. Um, anyway, sorry about that. I kind of realised... Oh, I hit the camera. I kind of realised there was no car there. This is the last one. This is my favourite one and the one I've saved to last. So Dynaco Ronnie, this is where it gets real with DJ. I don't know about you, but I love this one. We have all the corrected things. And we have... This is black, sort of darker like sunglasses should be. His spoiler is made of like a different texture, it's all shiny, completely straight there. I, and it, I know it is new and I haven't, I don't play with my cars anymore, so I could, I could explain that. You have the green lightning bolt again. Now you have the blue flames as well, how cool do they look? I love this, I, it was so cool when they released these ones. They are great versions or variants of them. They just they're so cool, so new and shiny, so perfected. The lights are now silver. It just it, it, they really improved it when doing this, which is awesome. They, this one doesn't actually have the. Um, let me find. Let me forget the original one. This one doesn't have them blocks at the side, like you see on diecasts here and here. It just is straight on the base. That's so weird. 
I think every other single car has that for DJ. Yep, even the colour changer. Is that and the clunk one? Yeah, every single one has it apart from this. That's so cool. See if they did it like this, that would be that would be quite cool, but sadly in the tail don't. So there we go, that is quite a nice pose right there. That's really cool. And having all the other ones as well is awesome. Maybe if someone's, I mean, I have kind of re reviewed Boost, but if you want to suggest Boost, you can, because I haven't done the variants of them. But yeah, maybe if I do Wingo and Snotrod and Boost, I get one day, I'll, you guys will get to see them with, um, I'm trying not to get them wrong, you see them with Flames. But anyway, that is the Flame Run, and that is the variant of DJ. Alright then guys, thank you for watching this video on the variants of DJ. Danica, Ronnie, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it lived up to what you thought it was going to be. And I hope you're having a great day. I know it's, I don't think it's your birthday anyway, but I hope you're having a great day nonetheless. And I hope that you enjoyed this review. So no, anyway, with that, uh, with that saying, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, um, turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a review or stream. And as always, I'll see you in the next review, guys.